through you. Abby, take your range short, keep your hands here. And then when you saw Megan, she makes herself a little bit heavy in the lower back. Or is that what you do? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like yeah, it looks like it at least. So I want to, I just want her to do the same. So if I'm saying something wrong, yep. you gotta tell her. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, and elbows on your body. Yeah. Nice walk. So, but now she's running a little bit to the inside. Find your seat in the middle of the saddle. Close your knees again from your hip to your knee. Yeah. Think a little bit of an X here. From here, look at me. From here to here. Think a little bit of an X without squeezing too hard. Just like a very soft leg there and make sure just think of your knee bring your knee as deep as you can so your seat goes as deep as you can Good. all right is she soft in your hands now do you think you can make a transition to canter without her pulling you out of the saddle if yes then do a going canter That was okay, but I think you questioned yourself too long. Yeah, may, may keep it simpler. So if you feel it's good thing, just give your counter aid and then see what it is. There you wanted to over perfect it. And yeah, see this canter, that's really nice canter. Beautiful. Very nice canter, good, good. So now see if you can take your right rein, if you can make your right, on the right side, your horse a little bit shorter and push the haunches to the inside. Now she comes up. Remember what what Megan did? She made her supple there when it came up. Yes. Good. Good. And let her come back. Don't chase her out. See if you can make a little bit suppler. Have Megan in your mind. Yeah. And don't ride more forward. Don't ride more forward. You, she got to go when she brings the hunches in. She's going to collect her more. Yeah. And feel that collection. Don't worry about it. If she falls apart, she falls apart. But not more forward. Collect her again. Or your right leg a little bit back, your right elbow on your body. Good, and now supple her again. Supple her in front a little bit, left and right. Flex a little bit right and flex a little bit left. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit to the left again, and now bring the hunches more in. Ask for more hunches. Bring your right leg a little bit farther back. Give more half, think of walk on your right rein. I mean your right, yes, good girl. Good girl. She has her nice in the contact yeah, as well, huh? Nice. Yeah. There you go. Good. So, Abby, bring your right elbow a little bit back. Back. And again, and give your half hot there. And your right leg a little bit farther back because you lost your punches in. Yeah, not faster. She has to actually collect more. More collection. Sit a little bit more up. Bend your left knee a little bit more. Bring your knee deeper. Bend your left knee and bring your knee deeper. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Good job. And now half out right, a little bit rounder. From the front of the saddle. More half out, more half out, more half out. Punches in. Yeah. There you go. And now make her straight and shoulder in. Remember where Megan has her elbows. Put that on the same place. Yeah. Yeah. Good. A little bit shoulder more in, so more the right shoulder in. Turn your body a little bit to the left. Yep, and now make her right side shorter. From head, from tail to head, shorter on the right rein, shorter. Shorter in the shoulder in, shorter right, shorter right, half up. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. There you go. Good job. Good. Change the rein into the circle. Stay on the, keep the short on the right side and do a flying change. So go in, go to the right, yeah, so don't do it now. So go a little bit, go across the half a diagonal. Make your right side shorter, make your right side shorter. Make it straight, make, take, yeah, because you've got to do a flying change. So make the right side shorter. The other right side, that's a good actually happen. There you go, good pucker. And now sit again, uh -uh, sit. Sit, yeah, and ride your rhythm. Ride your rhythm again. Good job. There you go. Yeah. Your knees deep again. Make your knees super deep. Good, and ride your rhythm. A little bit shoulder forward. A little 
little bit rounder. A little bit rounder again. There you go. Good. So I will bring the hunches to the inside because now she's a little bit too much on the forehand. So think of walk with your outside rein. Yeah, think of walk, every single step. Yep, yep. Break a sepal on the right side. Sepal, sepal, sepal. Give a half up right now. And again, half up right. Again, 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 again. Yes, again, yep. And now on the left one on top of it. Yeah, keep giving your half on the right. And now on the left one as well. Make it a little bit rounder again. Sit. Bend your knee again on the, on the right side. Bend your knee. Yeah, there you go. Good. Bend your right knee. See, she's much happier. Bend your right knee again. Put it, put it forward in the pommel of the saddle. Yeah, there. Now you got it. Do you feel it? Because your right seat bone is moving a little bit more now. Good job. There you go. Super. Super. Good. Yeah. All right, I think we have to go and trot and leave her because it's really good right now. So go and trot. Yeah. Uh -uh. Trot, trot, trot. Don't let her get long. Push her now. Bend your knee. Bend your knee. Yeah. And left right. Left. Yep. And now push a little bit more with your right leg. And to your left leg. There you go. Good. Push a little bit more forward and think of walk then again. Push her forward and think every step of walk. Yeah, but the reason why you have to push her forward is that she has to step a little bit more up with her hunches. Yes, super. And walk. Excellent. Super, let her lane long. Because if we ask more, I think we're not doing a better fit. She, she gets tired now, okay? Yeah, let's that was so really good. good. Yeah.